Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to Tropico 6. Uh, welcome back to our little paradise, glad you're still sticking around. And yes, 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 from far away we can see that the colony, well the city now, is growing quite a bit and we are going to make some changes now that should transform or that should pave the road for future expansions then as well. So that I'm talking about of course my harbor area right now. It is really far away now, right? So the docks are over there. We have our industry, our production that is slowly moving into this direction. We got lots of constructions going on right now. Here's nothing yet, but soon there's going to be everything here filled with plantations and stuff like that. And we definitely do need to do something about that. Transportation times are way too long at this point. We are having trucks, but of course even trucks have the limits. So there's just a ship now leaving port. That should make it possible for us to have the relocation of the docks now soon. And once that is happening, we're going to transform the whole area then into this into this tiny area for now, right? So the docks are slowly moving along the beach here the further we progress. There it is. Relocation is possible now. Let's just find us a suitable location here. Unfortunately, this is, this is not ideal for the grid-based system here, right? But we should be able to make this happen. So let's go ahead. Docks, here you go. We can even make a, a straight road. I'm very surprised that that El Presidente has his, his magic there. We're going to move the shipyards over there as well. So very close together once again. Also the Fisherman Wharf. Lucky us, we do have the fishing grounds right, um, right beside it, right? And then, of course, the occasional flop houses as well for the workers that are living here. Definitely need to make that road connection. And I'm also going to move uh, these Teamster offices then also into uh, this direction here a bit further. Wait a second, this one doesn't have a road connection. And here's my docks, right? And the docks are probably going to have the road then something like that. Uh, perhaps a bit further. Uh, whatever you do, you can't make it right. And let's just try and make it like this. Uh, that's looking a bit better now. Yes, very good. And here, of course, we also want to make then the connection with the the fisherman. Let's move him a bit further away. Unfortunately, the fisherman. We could also have him here, though, by the way. Yep, that's fine. That's fine, too, for me. So for the moment, let's have him over there. Um, also, let's move the bus garage a bit further into this area. And here is another road, then. This all leads now to the new industry zone that we are planning here. I'm going to move the cotton plantation. Um, as we can see, there's so much fertile ground here. It's totally fine to have it here. And I would really like to squeeze in my cotton then into this area. Mm, and Teamster office now, you can also go a bit further into that direction. And the bunkhouse also have it close by. These guys definitely want something to enjoy the day. Uh, let's have a, a tavern. I would say here, yes, you can overlook the beach area with that. Beautiful. And as we can see, in this area, we can then expand our road system that then eventually leads up here into the, the Tropicans once again, <laughs> into tropical ground. Yeah, not looking so bad for the moment, I should say. We have now closed the gap into this area there, and we can continue onwards here with more industry now. I would like to move my, my basic industries then as well, once we can afford it right now. The relocation of these buildings already cost me quite a bit. How can we make a bit more money? So first of all, we have fixed a few things in the last episode that should lead to a bit more output of my factories, right? Let's check the textile mill. Holy cow, yes, the textile mill is overloaded. In that case, let's add some two more job positions to the textile mill to speed up um, production even further. And on the other hand, we still have, I think, some things that we can fix. And that is, for example, here the budget for the houses, for the apartments, and for the flop houses was still way too low across the board. There was a product from the election, and we definitely want to, to lower this a bit, right? It's definitely not great to have this um, too high. It also can't hurt to move some of those original buildings, like the construction office, a bit further into my, yeah, into my industry zone now. So in that case, they should be they should be way closer to where things are happening, right? So we can make this one work here. Let's have the road there. This is then the connection with the... I'm just trying to make this one somehow clean looking. There you go. And yeah, we don't need that road for now. That should be fine. There we have our smaller industry still. I should probably also set the... 
the locations of my bus stops a bit a bit better right so here it is more central it is taking in more buildings and the end stop is then going to be now more and more in the industry zone how is it looking unemployment rate is at 52 uneducated people oh that should be fixed anyway once we have the plantations done no problem here vacant homes 85 way too much so that's a lot of flop houses and bunk houses that are un or uninhabited by the way let's get rid of the flop houses completely right we there there's no there's no way we need them anymore there's some country houses here that's fine and i think that we have another one i think that's it already with the flop houses so no problem here very good opening up some space here again and with that we could squeeze in another flop house here just fine if i need that right right now i don't need that of course yeah as we can see those construction of uh workers have quite a lot to do um but it's all small construction stuff so this should not be the biggest problem uh, the next mine is coming up an iron mine at that by the way that flop house here we don't need right we do have flop houses here that's close enough also we have gorillas attacking Ah, look at that. Where are they? There they are. No pirates anymore. Now we got uh, gorillas attacking us. So some rebels here. I didn't know that my rebel threat was that high. The port is though at 80%. So yeah, very strange still. On this difficulty level, I guess it's to be expected. Um, we do have two infantry squads that should do the trick. One is on its way, the other one is still waiting, or is it already at the location? <sighs> I don't want to waste more money on, on defense here, by the way. Uh, we do have a guard tower still. Let's move that over. This direction, that should be fine, right? It's only, it's only one tiny squad there, really, with four members. So that's fine. 56,000 with the latest export. Um, let's check it out. I think the boat export was out. And unfortunately, there's no boat coming after that. However, I can see some steel here. We don't have steel yet. 24%. Yeah, let's take a medium one with that. Because I'm intending to use steel for something else really soon. So, there's also some action for these uh, people here. <laughs> some fighting on the streets of Tropico. Where's my second infantry squad? I should have one. There it is. Where are you going? There's nothing over there. Now they realize it's the wrong street. <laughs> okay, if I lose a squad there, I'm going to be really mad. Gorillas have been defeated. Very good. Meanwhile, my new agricultural district is coming along as well. Not looking so bad. Let's upgrade the Teamster office. Let's also increase its budget there right away. We got the flop houses for all the workers here ready. We got a tavern here ready so people can also drink something. And we got the mine ready as well. And with that, sugar, tobacco, coffee, all changed to multiculture, of course. Another cotton. Another cotton, but that is fine because both of them have uh, at least... Oh, this one doesn't have four plantations in. So this is taking actually a bit of a hit here right now. But it's only 10%. We should be fine with that. Let's increase budget to the highest level. And this should drop down the unemployment rate there significantly. And it is already. Right? So uneducated are now going to work in the plantations. Let's check out our superpowers occasionally. Let's praise the Axis. And with the allies, we're really high on terms. We can even ask for $20,000 without actually losing any relationship. So, of course, we're going to use that. There's still a Teamster office here that really doesn't have a place. So let's put it more into my... Yeah, into my industrial zone. From the palace declares that we are definitely winning the war. Keep listening to find out... What war? We we <laughs> I don't, I don't see anything. Hopefully there's nothing brewing. Alright, another problem still persists. And that is my logging industry. As we can see, um, this one here is also running out of logs now. So they are chopping it down way too quickly. Despite having the upgrade for the tree nursery. And despite also going with take and give. So we are also regrowing trees here all the time. But it's not fast enough for what kind of oh, for, for the amount of logs we need. So I do need to decide on something new. And that is going to be a bit further over in this area. Mm, let's just see that we make this right. Going into... It's, it's going to be a long distance though, right? It's fine. It's fine with, with trucks. It's going to be fine. Um, let's get the road up here. 
let's prepare already some flop houses for this. So I would like to have, yeah, one and two. And we are also going with a tavern here. Just some basic stuff. And we have actually something prepared here. We got a world wonder, ladies and gents. We got the Stonehenge world wonder. Makes trees grow around the monument. Increases the renaturation rate in which pollution is reduced. And increases all tourist ratings as well. 10,000 costs me. We can afford this easily. And as we can see, we can then use our Stonehenge monument. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere over here. In the middle of nowhere, really. <laughs> Casually being dropped, and with that, Tropico has its first monument ready for action. No visitors yet, unfortunately. We don't have a bus system going all the way up here. For now, this is going to be our logging industry, right? So this is going to regrow trees here now around it, rather quickly, hopefully. Makes trees grow around the monument, as we can see. The first ones are popping up here. Ah, you know what, in my endless non-wisdom, I moved it over here now because there's more trees already, right? Rather than waiting for all these trees, it's just fine to have it in this area too. And yeah, I'm just going to have now my logging industry, so all of them. We're going to combine all of them in one spot, and that's really just all around here, close to that monument. Another one in this area, another one down here, and I think, yep, there is also one more that we can have. Here. We could, by the way, still have more if I want to, right? People are already moving into the flop houses. That's the, the workers here now for the logging camps. And we could have one, two more easily around that. We could even totally exploit it and have 12 around it if I want to. But of course, we're not doing that. That, well, hard. We don't need that, to be honest. We have enough logs then with that, hopefully. And this is all getting then over to my lumber mill. The lumber mill, by the way, let's also move this a bit further into my industry zone now. So that we have it all a bit combined here together. In this, in this area here that also has a bus connection already. Right, I'm seeing some good profits here lately now. So instead of the usual 40,000, we are going st steadily more into 60,000 now. That's pretty important. We can also check our revenue here. So at the moment, we're making some good amount of money now with the export, of course, that was to be expected. But also the rents are nicely here now. Look at that, the mansions, only three of them we have are paying us $3,300. The flop houses earn us $7,000 and the houses $6,800, with apartments being at $8,000 the maximum. However, we have a lot of apartments too. Uh, expenses, um, the upkeep cost for a mansion is probably pretty high, $1,500, yes. So this is where the profit goes down again a bit. Other than that, I think also interest is $12,000, which is the maximum you can earn out of interest, which is pretty cool. So that's a lot of money that we're getting out of here. I have no idea what advertisement is, the 3,000. Oh, that's the newspaper, right. Newspaper earns us a bit too. And so it also starts that we're finally continuing with our logging industry. While we're also at it, I would like to continue with my next industrial building. Now we do export a lot of steel right now. We have the steel trade route here still active for another 2,000 volumes. So I'm probably going to wait for its completion there. And there is another 800 already in the store. But what we can do is we can prepare the next industry, the weapon factory. This will use steel and nickel to produce weapons. And weapons are a good cash cow, really. Uh, let's purchase the blueprint for now. That's 9,000. And then 18,000 we do need for the, for the factory. We still need one more good, and that is nickel. And nickel is in my mine, of course. And let's just check it out. But we do have some nickel available. Ooh, it's not looking that great. Uh, that would be nickel over here and over here. This I probably like a bit more because we already have some infrastructure here close by. Let's go ahead and make us a nickel mine. Um, definitely going to need another flop house for the area. Right, so these people definitely need something there. Uh, and yeah, we can also continue with this road all the way along the beach here. Going then into this new industry zone. And with that, we have made a full round connection here around that big chunk of rock in the middle of it. All right, nickel mine have been finished. Uh, let's increase the budget right away. Profit protocol, increase efficiency, decreases job quality. Uh, 
nah, let's not do this. I think it's not necessary, really. And let's also upgrade it to cannery, so fire is less uh, likely. It's pretty important as the fire station is quite far away. Flop houses, the, the miners are, are living then as well. Yeah, and we can already see some um, solution or some, some results. Uh, 1,000 logs are now waiting in the lumber mill to be uh, processed with more piling up. So hopefully we have fixed the plank problem for now. I might actually consider a second textile mill at this point. Yep, let's build another one. Could probably afford to build it, to squeeze it in here. My goodness, look at the rubber here. 100% above the standard price with high volume, giving us a bonus of 153,000 credits. That's probably because uh, the car industry is rolling in World War, right? Um, let's, we don't have a single rubber plantation yet. Hmm, even though we would have some perfect fertility, really. Yep, I might actually consider a rubber plantation here and a rubber plantation on the other side. Hmm. Probably we'll need to have some room here. It will still be able to get four, four plantations in with that way. So that should be fine. We can actually keep the road then here. The crossing. Yep, let's do this. So two rubber plantations. I mean, it can't hurt to have a bit more jobs available there as well, as we have 25 uneducated people right now. And I can also see that I will need a few more living spaces here. So let's go ahead and build us a few more flop houses. And since plantations, let's just check it out there as well. They're actually well off after some time working here, right? Yep, they're well off or better even because of the high budget. We might consider actually adding some apartments for these guys as well. So this is good quality residential building for well off or better. And... Yeah, let's have us um, some two apartment blocks here along the along the road. And flop house wise, I would still like to go ahead with two more flop houses as well, as this whole area is growing, of course, and we're adding more things later. Another thing uh, I would like to start with is increasing mobility of my people now with the parking deck. So this allows rich citizens, it will be um, more accessible uh, soon, and also um, tourists to access par or cars and taxes. And this one here is possible, so uh, people can, or people can actually go to a parking garage, right, and take a car and go to their workplaces with that. Um, and I would like to set up a few of them now, so we can have one here in the center of Tropico right now, with lots of of uh, houses close by. And I would also like to use one a bit further over here, where there's also lots of houses around it. So those people can go to a parking garage, take a car, and get to their. Um, workplace and we do have an edict i hope i have researched it yep i do that's the free wheels so even poor citizens can now use cars this will cost me a thousand dollars per month but i think at this point we can afford it so let's go ahead and issue this edict here and this will make it a lot more faster for people to travel around let's actually finish both of these garages instantly because it's really cheap anyway and as we can see there is now someone working on that and people will go in here and get a car to get to some location, right? So this acts kind of like a bus station, just that it's not public transport now. Steel is over, very good. We have exported enough, and also the axes are done. Mm, let's give me a random blueprint. The army base, all right, that's fine. And the same goes with that one here. Now, important to know about the garage is that only the starting point needs to have the car. The end point doesn't really matter. So if they go to their workplace with their car, that's fine. And they just move back home again. So I think that's that. And as we can see, the cars are already coming off out, out of the, the garage. It's going to make it a bit more busy on the streets of Tropico now. But that's okay. Next up on my list is finally now the army, uh, the army base, the weapon factory. There it is. It's a very expensive building. And I'm probably going to, yeah, use it now in my industry area that we can have here. Let's actually have it next to the textile mill, I think, is a good location for it. There you go. All right, we're getting so many locks in now at this point that I might consider a second lumber mill, to be honest. We could also go with the hasty parking now. Um, so 30% more lock consumption for 30% more efficiency. 
Let's go ahead and do this. This should reduce the amount of logs that are piling up here. It's too much at this point. Hooray! Also the weapon factory up and running. One of the highest quality buildings you can have at this point. And yeah, lots of workers will be in here. We do need to set the budget right. Increases job quality with the storage tanks. Let's do this. We can afford it. More job quality means more support rating for me long term wise. Coffee is out. Cigars is out. We don't have any export route then soon anymore. And yeah, there's also not really a good deal here at all. Tough times coming in, I think. Perhaps we can praise one of the superpowers here. Yeah, you give me some 20,000 there again. We can praise the Axis to also get 100 with them. Now, when we can see something is that one of my weapon factory workers is now living in this apartment here. And he takes the car from the parking garage to get to his factory, right? And this is how it should be. So I don't want to have my apartments here in the industry zone. We rather want to have them into in, in some nicer places like this one. And from here, they can then just move on. Let's have another apartment here. And also have some nice park in the middle. Alright, new election coming up soon. Um, I will deliver, of course, an amazing, amazing speech once more. And let's just check it out here. Actually, we have some good parameters here. Faith happiness is not that high. That's easy to fix. We can praise the capitalists. We're not very good with them, actually. We're blaming no one and we improve faith. Alright, there you go. Oh, the Axis also wants me to do some sabotage now. <laughs> I love the accent. Kind of reminds me of someone. Now let's have a look as well um, for the churches. Right, we have lots of people living here, by the way. So we definitely should add a nice church area to this one too. And let's just check it out where exactly we could have one of these bad boys. Definitely one here in the center of this block that we still have available. And I would definitely like to also have one a church over in this area. Hmm, not the best locations we have there, unfortunately. Have it here, right? And then there's still a road leading up into this area, connecting that block. Nickel is also in. Ladies and gents, finally we're producing weapons for the world. Good tropical quality. Not meant for any wars, just self-defense. Yeah, well, we're <laughs> getting a few traffic jams now with so many citizens using cars. Getting really busy on the roads. We might think about a new street system here soon. Holy cow. Another thing I should probably add now at some point, yeah, let's make it now, is schools. We don't have any education at the moment. So with that, let's go ahead and also add the high school building. That's going to cost me quite a bit, but it's absolutely worth it. Better educated citizens will lead to better jobs long term wise. So let's build the first high school. Yeah, I would say here in the city center. And let's build a second one right away, a bit further outside, perhaps here um, by the circus. That would, that would make sense. Or a bit further out. Eh, it's difficult. Let's have it here. Two, two schools connecting now the city here should also lead to a nice boost in happiness there as always, as education is a pretty important factor. Ah, these planks. I mean, we're full on locks now. 2,000 locks waiting. But I think the planks are not enough. So I will need to, I will need to think about something there to, to get me two shipyards going. We might add another logging camp. Let's do this, actually. We need more locks. And build us also a second lumber mill. I might actually have the lumber mills a bit further away, to be honest, to keep the transportation times shorter. Or we just have it here for the moment. Let's have it here for the moment. Still, profit is there. We are making some good money right now. Election, we are at 52 approval rating, 28 opposes. So this should be... A one An thing by now. A beaten duck. Look at the export. Holy cow. 70,000. 80,000 was the last one. So profit is rolling in at the moment. The next meteor shower is hitting us. Uh, whew, can we accept more refugees? Yes, we can. Uh, we do have still some vacant jobs. Lots of homes. It's all about the jobs, really. 
and we continue onwards here in the next episode. Stay tuned! <laughs>